My name is Helen Arney. Uh, I'm doing a couple of songs in this uh, series of shows. Uh, the one I did just now is called Cerny Baby. Uh, it's to the tune of Santa Baby and uh, it is about the hunt for the Higgs boson. Therefore it's Cerny Baby, slip a boson under the tree for me. You can see where we're going with that. I was standing under the Lego Christmas tree in St Pancras Station, which is a thing of beauty. It is incredible to see square objects in round formations. That is always a joy. That is, you cannot deny that that is a beautiful Christmas thing. Uh, and we were standing under it and there was a band playing uh, various cheesy Christmas tunes. It's myself and my boyfriend and he just started singing along, being really cute. Uh, and singing some nerdy lyrics and I started singing some nerdy lyrics and um, Cerny Baby slip a boson under the tree for me. Um, we, we did have a few other verses that I haven't finished like um, Darwin Baby slip some fossils under the sea for me and that will be about intermediary fossils uh, and the search for uh, proof of evolution. Uh, the thing that I enjoy most about the song is that uh, one of the rhymes is 125GEV, uh, which is the, the point at which that anomaly has been found. They've, they basically now think with the Higgs now is that they know where it might be and they know where it definitely isn't. Uh, so that, that it's great because they can concentrate on this particular area where there's an anomalous result. And it's around 125GEV. And every time I've done this song, that gets a massive laugh. I mean, that's what I think is the science story of the year, is that a year ago, singing the line 125GEV Cerny Baby uh, would have elicited no response whatsoever. But a year on, it's something that makes people laugh. They recognise it, they know. It's something that people talk about mm -hmm. down the pub. They talk about whether neutrinos can travel at the speed of light or not, or faster or less, or what is a neutrino? Let's have another drink. And um, that, I think, is the science story of the year, is that science is now uh, no longer an elite topic. Yeah. Uh, I have always had to choose between music and science. Uh, I studied physics. Before that, I got grade eight in a couple of instruments, and every time I've had to um, uh, do, do one or the other. Um, I've always felt there's something a little bit missing. So after my physics degree, I ended up working in the music industry for about six years, uh, and I felt there was something missing. And then I started doing comedy, and I rediscovered science. I, I basically do it because if I'm not doing those two things together, I feel like there's something missing. Um, and so in that aspect, it's quite selfish. I get to do both of the things I really like all the time, which is awesome.